The future of aviation is now, thanks to this engine. And even if you don't know anything about planes, you'll be able to appreciate this engine and it's coming from Racine, Wisconsin. The engine is made by the company Delta Hawk. Now, plane engines are incredibly complicated, so let's try to break this down in the simplest terms. The engine powering this plane has no electronics and fewer parts compared to competitors. That makes it easier to install, operate, and maintain while not sacrificing power. Plus, it burns fuel more efficiently. One of the most expensive parts of flying is the fuel. In the long run, all of this will help save money. Well, the main driver of aviation costs is fuel because the air aircraft burn a fair amount of fuel. And then the other driver is maintenance and longevity. Very simple maintenance, very low maintenance compared to the competitive engines. We're not talking about commercial jets you fly on for your family vacations. We're talking smaller planes like this. Most of these planes can only use a specific type of expensive fuel only found in certain parts of the world. This engine is more versatile, using multiple types of fuels and it burns cleaner. It's taken Delta Hawk decades to get this engine to where it is today, but now this engine has interest from companies across the world and the Department of Defense. We can use this for general aviation. We can use this for the Defense Department, where our biggest competitor is owned by the Chinese government. And in doing that, we have a solution that can play in a lot of different areas with the newest technology. The engine can be for planes, drones, power generators, and more. They are just about ready to hit the global market. They've already sold one to NASA and have many pre-orders. They expect the first deliveries to be in 2025. But we're gonna put the Racine on the map from an aerospace perspective, and that's a guarantee. The impact will be felt around the world and locally. Delta Hawk expects to create about 100 jobs over the next three years as production increases. In Racine, James Groh, TMJ4 News.